We're on a secret visit to Al's shop today. We're going to learn something new. Al has a, a wood shop in an undisclosed location on an undisclosed street in an undisclosed city here. Some of you might notice the backgrounds of the hills of Glendora, but that's all I can say. So <laughs> Al's gonna show us what he's been up to on his new project that we're not saying it's safe for anyone to do at home. No. What you got going on here, Al? I don't. I'm just hooking up everything. You take this piece of wood, wet it with baking soda and water solution. And then I usually na nail the uh, the uh, ground okay. in there. Put my gloves on. Uh-oh. Gotta get up. You soak it. So do you soak it with water with baking soda mixed in with it? Yes. Yes. And then you've taken these components from parts from a microwave? Yes. My brother was going to throw away his microwave and I said, don't throw it away. I need the <laughs> insides of it. We've seen these videos on YouTube and we're going to see it in action right now. He's got it plugged in. Let's see. He's it. unplugged it. I'm going to, I'm going to go safer. If something happens, we're going to unplug him. <laughs> gonna put it on a surge protector just in case yes. we see him getting electrocuted we can turn it off from social distancing yes punch it and turn me off so what does this do it, 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 um... it best best way i can explain it is to show you <laughs> okay no scientific approach here we're just gonna do it yes so this is what came out of the microwave, okay? And then I made all these safety things, so, you know, this way away, because if you touch both of those, yeah. you'd be dead. Okay. So. We've got it wrapped on a piece of PVC. We've got a cable from a battery charger. I could make them a little bit better, but this was my first one. It's been working well. 110 so. volt. Scared. It won't get you. No. Well, this piece plywood works a lot better, but you can still get this. Right there it goes. control it somewhat by moving that around and what you don't want is you don't want both of them to hit each other that end and this end because it'll it'll see so they made a christmas tree <laughs> so when you get bigger pieces and you start doing like i did that face um you can control it so you can stitch this guy over sure. different corners that over again. yeah so this, this is a piece that he did. This is a piece of ash plywood. And he did that same technique around the edges of it. And you can kind of see, you know, the characters we look for in plywood we see. Um, and he's got these look like a Halloween scene, maybe. Looks like branches of trees. and So you have no control over what it's doing. But you're moving that, is it a nail that you're sticking on there? Yeah, the... the uh... The hot wire, yes. The hot wire has a nail hooked on there with a, a clamp from like battery chargers, cable. Yeah, and then I soldered them. Soldered, soldered them. Soldered the, the the nails to the stand <laughs> office and get some different looking character too. Oh, you so sand the top you, off. After you after you do this, you put it in the water and you use a scrub, scrub brush oh, and you clean brush. and you clean yeah. Yeah. I use a plastic brush, brush, and you clean all that up, and it'll clean up real nice. It'll look much more like a tree, you know. All the char charred looking stuff you wipe off. Yeah. yeah. Most of the time, I do. I usually put a piece of board on it. Put it on this. It depends. Depends on what I'm doing, you know. So 
that's the ground. That's the ground. That's the ground. He's adding some more. This is a piece of um, birch plywood. And he's going to wipe off the excess dust on it and spray it with the solution of the baking soda and water. You can also brush it on. You know, if you put it in a bowl, use a brush. And... This is just to get the wood wet and to activate the, to activate the electric charge that's going to run through it. And is this, are these, is this on now or it's off? It's off. It's off. That's why I use so the So he ham it hammered safe. it in with, with the power off. off. Yeah. Has it on a surge protector so he could turn it off in a hurry if he had to. And he's not going to hold the, the water in his one hand and electricity on the other hand, I don't think. <laughs> <laughs> um, sometimes I have though, so you know, I've done and then it stops, sure. you know, the way this one started mm -hmm. and it stopped and I had to move it. Well, I've sprayed it while I'm holding the water. Here we go, Dan. Okay, round two. So you plywood. Yeah, this is good. So, sometimes maybe uh, there's not enough water on there right now. You know. And I use these heavy duty rubber gloves. <laughs> So this is good and interesting because this is nothing Dan would ever do. Um, right? I don't. I wouldn't recommend it to anybody. I just do it. I, it took me years to just to attempt it. Oh, usually the plywood usually goes really. That's been there for a while. Really <laughs> no, I've, really I've done that before. <laughs> there you go. So, you see that? That was when it, they when it went boop. Oh, it grounds yeah, out. Yeah, that's when it. Yeah, that's when it'll make the... Did it shut itself off? No, I no, shut it off. I, no. I pulled it. Oh, you pulled it. Yeah, so. I pulled it. So after this, after I do this, I'll... And yeah, um, some of those bottles, I got one that doesn't spray at all, so... They don't spray too... They never work too great. My wife goes, what are you going to do with all this? I don't know. That's where it activated that other one so fast. How to do that? Must be a hole avoiding the plywood. You no, know, um, just because it's already been burning up over there, you know. So we're probably good until uh, until they both. Now that wire may fall out. So this is a pretty good one. Eh? Now you see when it hits what. It just kind of does that. Oh. So. And then you just let this dry a little bit, or I guess it's dry. Oh, you didn't even go just, right straight to the Just to get a wire right brush and scrape, yeah. scrape it. You scrape this one, and then I'll bring this one out, and then I'll scrape that one. You'll see the big difference, how it cleans it all up. So look at the cool things we did at Al's shop today. Al we? showed us his, I watched. <laughs> we, we. Look at the things that Al did at his shop today. He got the his burning tool that he made up with the microwave parts and electrified the wood and came up with these cool characteristics. He he wiped them down with a, a, a brush and got them a little bit wet and wiped off the excess burn area. So Very we're cool. on our second shop tour of this semester <laughs> and we're coming to a shop near you soon. Thanks. Close your garage door. You're welcome. <laughs>